We are leaving Jalisco and heading into all of Mexico with no reservations. This is the ending of a beautiful chapter and the beginning of something brand new. Never signing another long-term lease and embracing our skills as full-time creators. This vlog is all about the next steps in our nomadic journey. It is T minus seven days until we have to be out of our current apartment. T minus seven days? Yes. Oh my goodness. We've lived here for a full year mm -hmm. and we have one week to pack up and hand our apartment back over to the landlord. With a $750 deposit weighing in the balance. Mm, don't get that back. Mm -hmm. um, so what have you done so far? We have done nothing. Oh, you, you, I know you at least posted the stuff to sell online, right? Not yet. All right, well, you probably cleaned out all the little junk rooms and junk drawers and everything else, right? The garbage taken out. We're all good. Mm -mm. So, so what have you done again? What have you done? Um, I've been prep. I've been being what? cheerleader. What? I've been cheering you on, baby. You got this. You got this. Oh, oh. T minus seven days. We, we have to be out to of do. this apartment. We have a lot to do. And we wanted to take you along this journey of actually packing up our things and moving from one city to another when you're living abroad, you're in a foreign country. Our stuff is all uphill right now. We're going to start in the most junky room in the house, which is the room that April works out in. It's the room that he works in every single day. It is his <laughs> office. I'm glad y'all coming along. This is the most raggedy we've been. We got a little bit comfortable, <laughs> um, but it should make for an interesting video. So here we go. <laughs> Look, we could have started packing up and getting all this stuff together, but instead we decided to take a trip to Monterey to show you guys some cool mountains and what that city is all about. <laughs> For us, this is usually the biggest part of preparing to move, cleaning the house. And also, it's the biggest part of getting that deposit back, leaving the house pristine and clean. We're selling our things, the first, um People are picking up our belongings right now, so we're just meeting them down in the lobby and we're just saying goodbye and letting go of this stuff. So it's kind of exciting, sad to see these things go, but I think we're ready for this next week. I ain't sad at nothing. Goodbye, stuff. Holla. Peace. See you next time. Well, see you never again. Experience has taught us that selling our goods is a relatively easy and quick process. As soon as I posted our things for sale in the Facebook group, everything went very quickly. I was fielding messages left and right. A lot of the things we sold, sold the very next day, which for us was yesterday, so the place is feeling a little bare right now. What's really cool is uh, off of our first day of sales, we've been able to cover our moving expenses, at least for the first leg of our move. We made 200 and about 225 USD, and we've spent 230 USD booking our Airbnbs and transportation costs and all that kind of good stuff to our first locale. So that's kind of banging for your boy. Really happy about that. In case you guys are wondering how the layover is going, um, we out running errands, y'all. We got to. Uh, we are both in dire need of luggage. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it's, we've been carrying around this luggage for four years, and then we've had a really cheap piece that just didn't last like longer yeah. than two. So, uh -uh. <laughs> look at little boy looking at you. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> so, um, regardless of how I feel, we got to make things happen. We need new luggage. It's bad timing, but we're going to get it today. God willing, hopefully we can find some good stuff out here. If you travel a lot, then you know that wheels are one of the most vitally important pieces of luggage. And on the cheap luggage, those are the first pieces to go. Uh, so they're the first pieces that we're inspecting, trying to make sure we have some good, sturdy, 360 degree rotating, excellent bearing having wheels. even has a USB port to charge your electronics, which is pretty cool. So, nope. So, I think we're gonna 
go with this piece. Um, I got a big brown Bertha at home that's on her last leg and we'll probably end up replacing it with this. We are about to unload a lot of the rest of the stuff that we have here and there's an awesome organization in Guadalajara that I just found out about. It's called Abrazos de Amistad. So they're going to be, they collect and take anything that you have, anything that um, you are willing to give. They have people who can do something with it. Uh, we were happy to give away the things that we had, but look, these guys called us and were like, we want your frozen goods, your dry goods, that stuff you got in the Tupperware in the refrigerator, give it up. And we were happy to give it to them. Just a quick check-in. We're still uh, packing them up and moving them out. Yep. Running to the store right quick, get a little libations to make this packet a little should, bit more fun. Should be in the house though, <laughs> because it's a wreck right now. Yeah, for real, man. Uh, just wanted to get out here again, guys. We're coming to an end of this time here in GDL. Mm -hmm. Really gonna miss this neighborhood, y'all. How about you, baby? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna miss it, because, you know, uh, Things are always opening. Sorry. Uh, there's always new stores, there's always new things, and just cute things to kind of bring up the quality of the neighborhood yep. and just the amenities and what you have access to. So. There's usually a barbecue spot like right over here, you guys. There's a cafe right here that we took you to before. There's uh, two bodegas next to each other, a fruit and vegetable market down there. Um, it's just a really, really nice neighborhood, and this is typical of Guadalajara. So we about to eat good, you guys. This is another uh, place that's in the neighborhood. It just smells so good, we could not walk by. Um, what's the name of this establishment? What's the name of this place? La Taqueria. La Taqueria. La Taqueria. Tacos La Taqueria. You got it here, you guys. We love communicating with the people whenever we get the chance, and she gave us the insight on what to eat in Oaxaca. La Juda. La Juda. And that steak. Well, hock and cheese on a tortilla. With, uh, big tortilla, a little bit of toast, with Ooh. cheese, with, with uh, black beans, uh -huh. and um, carne. carne. Which mole do you like there? The black mole. Black mole. And, and um, wow. tamal. Tamal. Okay, okay. Gracias. Thank you. This stuff smells so good. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, we about to do a boob tube and then attack the rest of this freaking house, y'all. Y'all see that? This all has to be done before we go to sleep tonight. This is so good, you guys. Oh my gosh. How's yours, baby? Mm. Around the corner, y'all. Come on. The end of the road is here. It is the morning of our checkout of the place we've been living in for the past year, and we have our inspection in about five minutes. So it's over, you guys. It's over. So we packed everything, we've cleaned it up because we definitely want our deposit back. It's the end of the road. During the inspection process, they reconcile all of the receipts to make sure the bills are all caught up. So literally, you need to show receipts that everything has been paid from rent to utilities. And we had it all laid out for them. To ensure we received our deposit back in a timely manner, we paid the prorated costs for any utilities that we receive every other month. After the bills are reconciled, the agent inspects the home for any major damage and then instead of going through with the wire transfer like we agreed upon he was so impressed he gave us our deposit back in cash on the spot one of them days i hope he got us a uh airbnb on the first floor <laughs> All the big boys are heavy as a mug. Anybody oh, trying to hog the shade over here, y'all? Don't know I want to walk on the other side. Look at all that sunshine. <laughs> We decided to spend our last night in Jalisco in one of our favorite places. We knew we couldn't leave without visiting Tlaquepaque for one more night. It didn't escape us that we are absolutely homeless. We do not have an address, nor do we have a slave master in regards to a job. Instead of contemplating on the decision that we made, we decided to enjoy this night of freedom. So we threw ourselves into the live that we had scheduled later on this evening.
Yeah. So we are out and about, you guys. Just moved out of our house. We have a live with you later on. Mm -hmm. um, we're just hanging out, get some tacos, going over our conversation. Just wanted to get at you guys, man. We appreciate you. Uh, we love bringing you guys along with us. So this night should be fun, assuming yeah. our, our internet connection is good. It's going to be a first for us because we're going live on location. Uh, on like a walking street that's typically pretty busy where there's lots of stuff going on so we're hoping that um you like when we do it the people you guys will be able to hear us and the connection will be straight we thought it would be cool to uh bring you guys into our element our element is out and about is walking is doing things not sitting at home talking to a camera so uh hoping to have some fun tonight and hoping that this is the first of many outings with y'all so that's what's up man have a good day and we'll be in touch wants to know if we like Monterey. Do we like Monterey? We freaking love Monterey! We had a good time in the mountains, man. I think my favorite part was the mountains. Yeah, hands down, hands down. Some of these statues that we're passing. Oh. That's my little angel right there, y'all. So that's it, fam. We're embarking on a whole new life. We're hoping that this journey takes us to places we've always wanted to go. I hope this journey takes me to beautiful places that I can't even imagine I want to go to. I must say, it is exhilarating, confounding, scary, and enticing all at the same time. No regrets, no reservations, and fully embracing what's in front of us. Thank you guys for joining us through this different kind of journey. And thank you for being a part of our family. You guys know the drill. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. And please, if you're not part of the family, hit that subscribe button. We're taking off and we're taking off as of now. See you on the road.